Today is the introduction of the life of Absalom Jones and Richard Allen. Absalom Jones and Richard Allen are the founders of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, AME, AME Zion. Absalom Jones was born a slave on a plantation in Delaware, November 7, 1746. As he was a teenager, his parents uh, were sold away from him uh, to another plantation and slave owner. Uh, when he got older, he married uh, Mary King. And then you have Richard Allen. Richard Allen was born also on the plantation. He was a slave. His owner was Benjamin Shue. He was born to Benjamin Shue, uh, 1760. Benjamin Shue, later at the age of seven, sold Richard Allen to his next door neighbor, Stokely Sturgis. Richard Allen was able to purchase his freedom at the age of 26 years old for $2,000. He saved up $2,000 over a course of five years. When he gained his freedom, he married uh, a woman by the name of Flora. Flora later on had died and Richard Allen remarried again. He married Sarah Bass. Uh, Richard Allen and Sarah Bass' home was also used in the Underground Railroad. Richard Allen had became ordained as a Methodist minister and moved to Philadelphia, where he met Absalom Jones. They attended St. George's Methodist Church, which was a, uh, a white uh, Methodist uh, church owned by a white pastor. Along with St. George's Methodist Church and other Protestant churches uh, in the South and also uh, in the East Coast had practiced segregation where the blacks had to sit in the back of the church and the whites, uh, they were able to sit in front of the church. Many a times inside the church services, there weren't enough seats where the blacks who were in the back had to stand up for the service because they had nowhere to sit down. They had to remain standing in the back of the church uh, during the services. So at one particular service in 1786, Absalom Jones and Richard Allen had sat towards the front of the church service at St. George's Methodist Church. When they were in prayer, they were on their knees praying. The usher had asked Richard Allen and Absalom Jones to move to the back. Absalom Jones had told the white usher that he would move to the back or once he finished praying. The usher snatched uh, Absalom Jones up by his collar and told Absalom Jones these words, you must go now. He put Absalom Jones out of the church. So from that day forward, Absalom Jones and Richard Allen had separated the Afro-Americans from uh, St. George's Methodist Church in Philadelphia. And they purchased a lot. And on that lot, they built and started the first church, which was Mother Bethel and Me Church. The whites who were Methodists at the time of Absalom Jones and Richard Allen, when the Afro-Americans had separated from St. George's, they wouldn't allow them to have their own services. They demanded that they return back to St. George's. When they wouldn't return back, the members of St. George's and the Methodist clergy told um, Absalom Jones and Richard Allen that their congregation was not part of the Methodist church, where they had to go to court to fight for their own independence. Uh, the Methodist church even tried to place a white pastor over uh, Mother Bethel and the church. But through the court system in the 1800s, Absalom Jones, Richard Allen, and 
of the Mother Bethel AME Church had gained their independence. It became an independent Afro-American society. Richard Allen and Absalom Jones also started the Free African Society. Absalom Jones died February 13, 1818. Absalom Jones was 14 years older than Richard Allen. 